but today I am going to give you the top 10 tips that I wish I knew before entering college. Keep watching! Wait, why should we listen to you? Why should we even keep watching? Well, girl, it took me four long years to realize all of these things. So I'm actually saving you some time. Tip number one, which is often uh, overlooked and often taken for granted. Often taken for granted. And often taken for granted. Would be making sure that you have a comfortable space to stay or a comfortable space to study. So for me, it's very important na meron tayong study desk, meron tayong study table para makapag-focus tayo kapag may gagawin tayong um, papers at meron tayong i-review re review for the exams. Sabi nga nila that your desk is a reflection of who you are, of your personality. But for me, your desk is a reflection of how much you would want to excel in school. So, tip number two would be realizing that you are not special. Bago pa isang pal sa'yo ng university, ang katotohanan na to, unahan mo na. Unahan mo na siya. Kasi lahat naman kayo matalino, lahat kayo may bubuga. Lahat kayo honor students nung high school. Lahat kayo with high honors, ganyan. So, you have to know and you have to realize that fact. Kasi masakit kapag saka mo lang siya marirealize kapag nandun ka na na ay ang bobo ko pala. Mga ganun na effect. Kailangan mong marealize yun sa sarili mo. And use that as a motivation para mas mag-improve pa na well, hindi pala ito yung final product. Hindi pala, hindi pala ako hanggang dito lang. So, yun. Which will lead me to my next tip. Tip number three would Realizing that you are not in competition with others. So you have to mind your own business. Mas healthy actually kapag iniisip natin na we are in constant competition with ourselves and not with other people. Kapag ganito kasi, mas matitrack natin yung ating improvement as time goes on. And yun, wag nyong ikumpara yung success nyo sa ibang tao, sa success ng ibang tao. Huwag kayong mag-compare. Never, ever do that. Kasi sobrang wala. Wala kang mapapala in the end. Malulungkot ka lang. Tip number four. Make up your mind and set your goals. So sabi nga ng teacher namin noon, Well, as I was saying, you have to make up your mind and set your goals. Yun actually yung sinabi ng teacher namin na pinagkaiba ng mission tsaka vision. Boring alert! Boring alert! Boring alert! Sabi niya, yung vision daw is yung bigger goal na sometimes sobrang intangible niya. Kunwari, peace. Kunwari, uh, graduate on time with honors. Ganun yung vision. And ang mission naman is yung mga smaller steps that you have to take in order to achieve that vision. So, ang mission, yun talaga yung um, nagagawa natin. Something tangible. Say, for example, kung vision mo ay graduate on time. So, yung magiging mission mo ay to, to never absent unless may emergency, unless uh, may sakit. Ganon. Or to review for your exams one week before. Good luck. Good luck talaga. Eh. Next tip, which is uh, a major life skill, is to learn how to cook. How to cook your own food. Tip number six naman, dun na tayo sa more, more on the academic part of uh, being a college student. So, you have to know your subjects. And as much as you have to know your subjects, you have to know your professors as well. So, dito na pumapasok yung um, upperclassmen. So, magkipag-friendship tayo sa kanila para mas malaman natin kung sino yung kung magaling ba yung professor na to kung mas marami kang matututunan sa prof na to huwag ka dun sa mga sinasabi nilang easy uno because girl walang easy uno walang easy sa college next know how to cite alam niyo ba kung paano mag cite well this 
Tapos, hindi man sinasabi ng mga prof, pero nandun talaga sa rubric nila, dun sa research uh, papers na pinapas natin, merong citation. Doc. So, I suggest that you start studying different kinds or different formats of um, cita- citing. So, meron tayong APA, CMS, depende siguro kung anong gusto ng college nyo, depende kung anong nire-require sa inyo. So, yon. I will also give you the links in the description below kung ano yung mga sites na nag-offer ng libreng journals. Pero, shh, na kayo may. Kasi, feeling ko ano yun eh. Uh, hack. Hack. Tip number eight. Utilize the library's resources. So, kung may privilege kayo, kung may wifi yung library nyo, may mga ganun kayong um, perks. Doon maraming libro sa library. Gamitin nyo yun para mas makatipid kayo. Tipid tips 101. Medyo hindi na ako natutuwa pero itutuloy pa na lang kasi tatapusin ko na siya. So, tip number 9. Everything comes with hard work and dedication. Lahat yan pinaghihirapan. Sa college, wala kang uh, sasandalan kundi yung sarili mo. Wala kang o sasandalan kung di yung sarili mo. Kasi in the end, kapag graduate ka na wala kang ginawang masama, wala kang ginawang katarantaduhan, well, it will be worth it. And lastly, 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 which is the most important, oh my god, nawalan ng kuryente! Hi guys! Oh, nawala na ng kuryente. Wala na yung ilaw. 6pm na. But I am going to end this vlog with the last tip. Most important one, to always press the refresh button. Always find time to do the things that you love. Say for example, meditation, talking to God, doing yoga, talking to your parents or your friends. Do the things that that will keep you sane because in college there will be a lot of times that Whoa. there will be a lot of times that you'll get demotivated but you have to keep your heart strong and you have to push forward i wish you all good luck guys you can do it always remember to do your best in everything this has been ate dana Thank you. Bye-bye. Mwah! Bye! Mm, ba't ganito? Isay ko naman. Ba't naman kayo namutol ng kuryente?